What's up, everybody? This is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on Wing Sound. In this tutorial, I want to go over the FPC from FL Studio. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and empty out all these sounds, and then we want to map out these pads to your keyboard or your drum pad. So the way you'd clear all these sounds out of here is you want to come over here to the top right, and you see these left and right arrows, and you can right click on either one, and after you do that, you want to click on empty. Okay, so that clears out everything. Step two, click on this drop down right here, and then we want to select map notes for entire bank, and we're on bank A here. You just want to go in your pad controller or your keyboard, and you just want to tap on each one of the pads to assign it. Okay, so for your keyboard, it will just tap on each key until you got 16 keys. You can either go all white keys or you can go the white and the blacks as well, but you just want to tap on each pad or key to assign it its own channel, and then that'll map it out so that way. When you hit pad one, it's going to trigger this pad one here, pad two, and pad two right there. Same thing with your keyboard. You just start from whatever key you want to start from. You know, it's up to you. Click on this drop down again, and I want to save this note layout. Every time you load up the FPC, you don't have to go through the whole process. You can just empty out the pads and then load a pre existing layout that you've created before. So I would just save this. So I would just go sample layout. I'm going to save that. So now if I want to load this, I would just go click the drop down and then I would just go load note layout. It'll take me to that folder and then I would just load up sample note layout. All right, John Z signing off. Become a beatmaker.com. Join the conversation by following Wake Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.